Okay. Hi, guys. Sorry, I had to get set up. Hi. I wasn't ready, but I was. I can get caught on anyway. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So we are doing the Mardi Gras book tag, and this is from, just had it, In Cold Lit. And basically, it with Mardi Gras this last week, um, there's 10 questions plus a bonus question that is all themed around Mardi Gras. And I left my Mardi Gras yeah, beads at work. I never caught any. So, okay. So, first one, the designated driver. What's reread book is reliable to get you out of a reading slump. Who wants to go first? I agree with the dude in Ice Cold Lit. I just read through my slump. I don't have a specific book that I go to each time I'm in my in a book slump. I just read through them. I have a specific genre I go to when I'm in a slump. Cozy mysteries. <laughs> it's like every time I'm having a problem getting into a book, I just get a cozy mystery for my Kindle. And I usually read a few of those because they're usually pretty short. And it usually helps me out. And I'm saying usually an awful lot in that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. And I chose Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling because I could read this book in a slump or not in a slump all the time. So, yeah. Number two. The Drunk Best Friend. Which character or characters... Would you like to grab a drink with or simply hang out with for a night on the town? You want to go first, Berta? I chose Jack Skellington from A Nightmare Before Christmas by Tim Burton. That is really cool. How about you, Miss Nick? I picked Rose from Vampire Academy. Oh, good one. Because she's, you know, awesome. Yeah. She kick ass. Yes. <laughs> and I chose Atticus and Oberon. Oberon from the Iron Druid series because... I could By just Kevin Hearn. Thank you, because Oberon is my favorite character in that series so far. I just I love his quirkiness. He's definitely the. Um, I was about to tap it, but it's going dark. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's definitely the comical relief in in the series. You gotta love him. All right, so Fat Tuesday. Which book on your TBR can you not wait to devour, Nikki? Madman's Daughter by Megan Shepherd. It's like a retelling of The Island of Dr. Moreau, which I love. I love the remake movie that was made in the 90s. When did you buy that? A couple of months ago. Yeah, not least. too long ago. Oh, yeah, just a few months it. ago. I bought it on clearance. It doesn't even have one of those marks on it. Yeah. Oh, right on. And it's got deckled edges. Ooh, pretty And book. this is the first in the series, so I looked out there. Yes. Yes, yeah. I've been dying to read this book. Yeah, like, you have. Oh, my God. All right. So that's what I'm excited to read. For me, it's Ensnared by A.G. Howard. I, I will be <laughs> reading this this week, I promise, because I have got to finish this series. So, yep, that's me. <laughs> I chose Maple Crop by Cher uh, Cherry Grease. I read Bone Shaker. That's Stella, if you can hear that's her. my dog outside. We have popcorn, so yeah. she, she loves popcorn. Mm -hmm. She does. So I, it's um, a new series that she's starting. It's the Board and Dispatches series. This is book one. She's so sad. Number four, Lent. Which genre would you give up reading for 40 days? Erotica. 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 <laughs> we're like, that's the least important. Yeah. So we're like, nah, I can do that. I mean, I'm cool. Yeah. yeah. All right, Masquerade Masks. Which book do you mask that you have read? So an example is a book you're embarrassed about, a book or author you're embarrassed by not having read yet, a guilty pleasure book, or something you hide behind. I'll go first. Fifty Shades of Grey, and not for the for what you think. I am not embarrassed that I've read this book. Um, actually, it's my guilty pleasure. So I don't. I don't have one. I, I don't. Have I will one tell either. people what I read. I don't care if I'm reading yeah. erotica or like what else tell you. It doesn't bother me. Yeah. Alright, next is the annual Mardi Gras party parade. What classic could you read time and time again? And I chose Hamlet. I could read, I could basically read Shakespeare with no problem, but I love Hamlet. So I could read Hamlet time and time and time and time again. I think just Edward, Edgar Allan Poe in general. <laughs> Edward Allan Poe? Yeah. Edward Scissorhands? Yes. 
<laughs> I would read that if that was a book. That's a good one. Yes. I didn't even think about that. Because I'm like, <laughs> what classics do I own? Not many. I chose Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. It gets a slow start. It has a horrible ending, but mm. it's a good book. All right. So number seven, New Orleans. Nola. Nolans. Which fictional place would you like to party, Nikki? Wonderland. Just any Wonderland? Splintered Wonderland with Morpheus. Preferably at the end of the book, not when things are messed up. Like, super messed up. I didn't hear that, that, that. Well, no, you know, know this stuff I with know. red and all that. Yeah. But you don't know any of this. I don't know yes. it too much. Yeah. I chose The Night Circus uh, by Aaron Morgenstern. This circus would be amazing, and I would totally be a river. I chose Westeros. <laughs> I like high fantasy, and I like medieval renaissance. More medieval. Yeah, I know. I did say medieval. Hello. Um, I, I do like those stories, and I like that time period as well. So I think, aside from all the killing and backstabbing, I think it would be a really good good place to party on. I don't know. Especially in Winterfell. That would be the best place for me to party on at. So number eight, jazz music. What book makes you want to dance? It could be when you received it or as you read it. Go. Okay. So we just kind of hold this, but um, <laughs> we went to Books A Million. We've been waiting forever to get this book in hardback. It is the second book, Fever, in the um, Chemical Garden Trilogy by Lauren DeStefano. I looked at it, and then I went like, I'm like, it's a hardback! It's a hardback! They have three! So, I think I actually scared a guy away from the, like, bargain section, because I was literally jumping up and down. Didn't we do the same thing when we found, what was it, Scarlet? No. Or was it Cinder that we found, that you found? I it? found it. I had to pay full price for it. Yeah. Now, they, now have, they have had it in the clearance section. For Plenty. Like Forever. I'm like, I hate this. You can go next. <laughs> Ensnared by A.G. Howard. I was just really excited when I went to buy it, finally, because I didn't want to buy it for my Kindle. I wanted to finish whole series so I waited like it was out for like a few weeks before I bought it which was like torture for me but yeah. I was super excited and, and it totally it totally was amazing I won't say anything else because other people haven't read it okay so my jazz one is J.R. Tolkien's um, translation of Beowulf um, my sister showed it to me and I was so excited to see it because I'm a big J.R. Tolkien fan um, and I was going to get it, and she's like, no, 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 you've got a birthday coming up. So guess what I got for my birthday from her? I got this. It's a really pretty cover. Yeah. So that was my, yay, I got it, I got it. So, okay. <laughs> All right, number nine, the colors of Mardi Gras. Purple represents justice. Which character do you feel got justice at the end of the book or series, Nikki? I don't know. I didn't really have one for this. Skip me. Bird <laughs> I was, like, looking through my shelves, and like, I don't. I chose Ready Player One. He does, he totally gets, oh, sorry, it's by Ernest Klein. He gets justice. I'm not going to spoil it. I actually chose a, a, a small bit character in the, in the series. I chose Molly Weasley um, at the end of the Harry Potter series. She ends up killing Bellatrix, and I feel that Bellatrix, first of all, deserved it. But she deserved it more from Molly because Molly loved Harry and Bellatrix also killed Fred. So I think Bellatrix got everything she deserved and Molly got her justice. Alright, so the next color is green which represents faith. Which character would you put your complete faith in no matter the situation? Roberta. You. Nikki? Odd Thomas by Dean Kuntz. You should read the series. He's awesome. I would totally be friends with Odd. And I would trust him because he is a good guy. Yes. Who can see ghosts. Mm-hmm. Butter. Butter. Can you not say my name, woman? No. You can go. 
<laughs> you don't remember the name of the person. I don't. Do it's you? been like two years since I've read the book, damn it. Okay, mine is Neville Longbottom, because he had a chance during the Battle for Hogwarts, he had a chance to go to the dark side and not fight against Voldemort, and he chose to stick with Harry. And for me, that just tells you that through thick and thin, um, yeah, he may have started out as a a low character who no one thought was going to turn out to be anything, and he actually turned out to be very brave. He was a true Gryffindor. So, that was mine. Where did I? Okay, her name's um, Briar Wilkies. Wilkes? Yeah, Wilkes. From the Bone Shaker uh, book. It's from the Clockwork Century series by Cherry Priest. Same author as the um, Maple Crop. Um, yeah, it's been like two years since I've read this book. But yeah. Very, very um, awesome character. And the third color is gold, which represents power. Which book gave you very powerful emotion after reading it? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Nikki. I picked Twilight. Because, I don't know, when I read Twilight, it was like when they started filming the movie. And I didn't really know anything about the book, and I just picked it up at the bookstore one day, and I was like, <gasps> the book was like crack. Well, we time. knew we would go and see it, too, so. So I wanted to read it, but I didn't, I just, I had bought a bunch of books that day, and then I just started reading this one, and I just, like, stayed up all night reading it. And that was the first time I had done that in a long time. I mean, I've always been a reader, but this kind of really was, like, <gasps> obsessively reading the story. <laughs> I was like, I was really into it. Okay. For me, it was Half-Blood Prince. Um, I mean, if you haven't read it, I'm sorry, I'm going to spoil it for you, but when Dumbledore dies, I... Was horrible. It was horrible. I literally... And this is sacrilege. I threw the book. I hate throwing books because I've never done that. Because to me, books are sacred, but I, I just... I, I, I didn't technically throw it. I closed it and like pushed it and it just slid off my bed. <laughs> but yeah, I, I did one of those. I read it straight through and it just... What was the question? It was what book basically gives you the feels. Oh, okay. Reading it. So, Allegiant. I was like depressed for days after that. I was sad. Like, I cried a ton, but I wasn't like depressed. Yeah. Not like Dumbledore dying in Half-Blood Prince. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number ten. Show your tatas. Get those beads. Which character would you throw beads to? I'll go first on this one because when I told Roberta, she was kind of like, "Really?" You told me. The oh yeah. I was like, "Yeah." She was you. like, "Really?" Dumbledore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, think about it. He's an old wise and wizard, but he would be the kind that would party. You want him to flash you and be like, "Hey." That's what that is. I don't care. I, was like, I don't want an he old man have to. flashing me. To me, he wouldn't have to flash me for me to throw bees. I'd be like, hey, you're cool. There you go. Can anyone guess who I picked? Morpheus. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't even him. read the books. <laughs> I haven't finished the last one, so... I'm still Team Morpheus forever. Always. I used to like to argue. I love Jim. I'm Switzerland. <laughs> but I just, I like, I like the bad boys. Even though Jeb has I that, agree like, on that one. skater side, just Morpheus is just, like, yeah. actually a bad boy. <laughs> Berta? I chose Seth from Wicked Lovely by Marissa She's Moore. also pretty awesome. Did I say Marissa? I meant Melissa Mar. I always do that! But, yeah. He is, like, super gorgeous. Gothy. Kind of. Punky. Punky, yeah. More punk. Piercings. Totally my kind of dude. Flirts. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And finally, the bonus question. Southern hospitality, because oh. we all know New Orleans is in the South, so we all got that Southern hospitality. So I know. <laughs> Notice my Southern accent. <laughs> we don't have one. I'm not actually nope. from the South. Nope, no. I'm from North Central Indiana. You can't get any I'm more mid-mid-east. Mid Midwestern. I thought you were going to say medieval. <laughs> okay. Um, so basically, give an example of a time when you received beyond exceptional service in a bookstore. And I think all I can speak for all three of us. It's any time at new to you. New to you. It, it, it. We walk in and we're like family. I mean, we. He gets worried about us when we yeah. don't show up for a while. Yeah. That just tells you how he is with his repeat customers. You become family to him. 
And I'm surprised he hasn't called us to ask us to help him uh, expand because this guy, he's expanding his well, bookstore. Well, you give me first dibs on books, I'll help you. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Ooh. my list. Ooh, books. Yeah. Put but, this in my pile. <laughs> I'm freeing you of your books. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, anytime we walk in, we get. Hey, girls. How yeah, are you? The girls are here. In fact, they went for Christmas shopping without me. And he's like, where's the other one? <laughs> And that was in the middle of the week, and, and then, then I went, and then we went, and he's like, where's the other one? I'm like, she had to work. On a Saturday. Fun. Merry Christmas. Here's your Christmas card. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, anytime we go to New to You, it's just, he makes you feel welcome. Even the first time we went, mm -hmm. he was like, hi, you know, this is how, how much I charge for hardbacks, you know, paperbacks, and then your, um, even cheaper mass produced paperbacks mass like that. Um, and he's like, I got really old books, and he, yeah. I, like, half my collection is from him now. Yeah. yeah. So, new to you, definitely. If you're, if you're in the Melbourne, Florida area, he's on Aurora, and looks like a, a storage complex. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really which it is. location. It is. But he's right at the end. You can't miss him. It says books. You might be overwhelmed when you first walk in there. Oh my yeah. god, yes. You will be overwhelmed. It's There's like, no maybe. Oh. It's, you will be. It is a book You walk in paradise. and the first thing that greets you is a bookshelf. Bookshelf. Yeah. Yeah, you walk into bookshelf. So, yeah. So no if you're running in, in there. <laughs> yeah. If you're in the Brevard County area, I would suggest that you go to New to You. Yay. So. Until next time. Oh, Bye. no, no, no. No? Oh! We got to tag someone. It's a tag, oh, yo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tag, tag. <laughs> so if you've watched this, we tag you. Don't forget to like and share this video. Yes. Yay. And subscribe. Yes. yes. Please. Ah, tag.